Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to show you how you can format text inside of the web chat channel. So there are a few kinds of formatting that UChat supports, for example, bold text, italic text. We also have uh, bold italic text and also strike through. And you can do that in a few different kinds of ways. So let's first take a look at the bold text. So if we're going to zoom in, you will see that we have two different ways to create bold text. If we're going to open this note, then we will see that the first option will be two asterisk signs at the beginning and start of the text. So everything in between those asterisk signs will be basically bold formatted. And the most important part is that you do not have any spacings between the beginning asterisk and the end asterisk. So if you are having a space in between, that means that the bold conversion, the bold formatting will fail. So make sure that you have no spacing in between the text itself. The other way would be to have two underscores at the beginning and two underscores at the end of the text. That will have the exact same effect to make text bold. So if we're going to preview this, let's preview this inside of the web chat pop-up. Then we should see that both versions will pop up as bold text. So let's take a look. And you can see this is bold. So that's the top one, right? And then we have that this is bold too, which is the below one. So as long as you have the two asterisk sign, uh, two asterisk symbols at the beginning and the end, or otherwise two underscores at the beginning and the end, it will convert towards a bold text. So that is step one. What other kinds of conversions do we have as well? If we are going to take a look, then we also have italic text. And just like bold text, if we take a look, then you will see that we have one asterisk sign at the beginning and one asterisk sign at the end of the text. Again, no spacing in between. That is really, really important. Uh, otherwise, the conversion and the formatting will fail. Now, the exact same can be achieved with one underscore at the beginning and one underscore at the end. So if we're going to preview this, then both versions should basically pop up as italic. So let's take a look. And as you can see, both will be italic. Now, if you want to combine these, so you want to have bold and italic, that is also possible. What you will need to do then, let me grab the note itself. If we're going to take a look at this note, you will see that we have three asterisk signs at the beginning and three at the end, or otherwise uh, three underscores at the beginning and three underscores at the end. You will see inside of UChat, it shows as a line, right? But these are three asterisks, uh, sorry, these are three underscores, uh, underscore symbols inside this, uh, inside of this text note. So if we are going to preview this one, let's take a look. It should convert into bold italic. And as you can see, this is italic bold or bold italic and this one as well. The last one that we have for formatting, for formatting, um, the text inside of the web chat channel will be the strike group. So if you want to have a strike through, you will have to have these, don't know how they, how these symbols are called, uh, but basically those golf uh, wavy symbols, right? So if you do know the uh, actual name of these symbols, then do post them down in uh, the video comments and <laughs> we will be forever grateful because I cannot get on the exact word right now. But if we're going to preview this, it should basically have a line directly through the uh, word on strike through. So if we're going to preview this one, then we should have a similar effect, just like with all the other formatting, but this time it will be basically aligned straight through the text, as you can see here. So these are the four formatting issues that you can use for text formatting. So if you have any questions, do let us know. If something is not working, do make sure that between the symbols, there is no spacing between the symbol itself and the text. So for example, if it would be this symbol and then you have a space, then this will not work. So make sure that you will have no space in between those sections and then the formatting should automatically take place. For now, have a great day, take care, and we'll talk to you really, really soon.